For today's creature feature, we come to Tampa's Florida State Fairgrounds. And it looks like the witch will be going to Spicala as well. Are you ready for the convention? Oh no, who is this beautiful, beautiful slasher here by the lake, right next to the Florida State Fairgrounds. You look, you look awfully familiar. Wow, you look great, that's some excellent cosplay. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J and this is my fiance, the Friday the 13th Barbie. No words today? Are you doing true Jason fashion? That's it, this, this is it, this is uh, this is myself and Chris the girl's experience at Spookala Tampa for the very first time it being here. This is a newer convention, a horror convention to Florida, normally up in Ocala. That's where we've been to it before, but this is the first time here in Tampa. This is a big deal. It is Saturday. There's a lot going on. This is a huge venue. We've been out to the Florida State Fairgrounds before for many events, including Shark Con, the Florida State Fair, the RV, festival with your parents yep. and today it's Spookala. I've got some plans today. I don't want to spoil them but I purchased for the first time ever, well actually not for the first time but for the first time in a long time I purchased a photo op with a group. Uh, I, I'm just gonna say that I'll show you when I get there but also today they are pro proclaiming that this is the world's largest ghost face meetup screams there's supposed to be a giant photo full of scream mask ghost face mask uh later so we're gonna check that out there's a lot of friends here tons of friends we have to say hi to these cons are always fun but always a little hectic but in a good way though it's uh it's always a great time also there's a scream panel today at uh one o'clock so we're gonna check out the scream panel a lot of the cast members from scream also kevin smith and jay muse is here from clerks and also a lot of halloween people we saw last weekend actually a week ago out in pasadena at halloween 45 so this is a giant reunion once again as always a reunion for us a, re a reunion for them and for you guys so thanks for clicking on the video i hope you enjoy it feel free to subscribe below i am tampa j again this beautiful slasher right here next to the lake that's chris the girl and we're ready to party let's go there's much ahead and if you saw my video the other day we came on thursday to pick up our wristbands early they had an early pickup so we don't have to wait in line we've got a wristband we can walk right in to spookala and it was $10 to park. There is a pop-up tent here for you to pick up your pass if you haven't done so already. Also, you can purchase right here. Again, we bought our wristbands. So we're gonna walk through gate one and right into Spookala. All right, you ready? Ready. There it is. Whoa! Spookala, welcome to Tampa. I hope you stay here for a little while. It's a giant room. Check this out. Oh, we already got a ghost face right there. Right there. Hello. Ooh. Yeah. Jason. Just got here, Jason. Hey, Michael. You here to party, bro? Yeah. Taking the load off. You know, killing. It gets a little old sometimes, huh? Yeah, no sweat. Hey, I couldn't help but notice you and Jason Barbie kind of go together. Look at that. Look at this. I love it. Take a screenshot. It'll last longer. Okay. All right. Can I have her back now? <laughs> David S. David S. Pumpkin. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe this is happening right now. I'm rolling. It, you guys want to, what's your name? David S. Pumpkin. <laughs> Man, this is this is the best cosplay ever. Look at this. David S. Pumpkins, y'all. And Michael. Spookala, yeah. Whoa, Leatherface. Alright. Oh, 
Man, I like it. This is some great cosplay here. How you feeling? You hungry? Would you like to wear this face? Be honest. You would you would wear my face? That's an honor. That is the most most grateful achievement of my life. He, Leatherface would wear this face. And tons of vendors in here. Why don't we start with the Spookala merchandise? And here's a specific Spookala Scream t-shirt, which is awesome. Also, there's another one right here. David Arquette is here today. Also, Michael Rooker. We've got Jay and Silent Bob, of course, Matthew Lillard. We've got Nick Castle. We've got people here from A Nightmare Before Christmas. And look at this, the Barbie Spookala shirt. I think I think you need that. I think I think that droid needs that behind you too. I mean, it is pink. I'm gonna crawl inside the camera. You're gonna. I, weird. You're you want to crawl inside my camera? How did you get? I thought you. Wizard Harry. I thought you. I thought you were in Hawaii. I was. Then I went to California, and then I'm back here. That was a beautiful trip, by the way. Yeah. Of course, Adam the Woo. I like your shirt. It looks like mine a little bit. I got the stab shirt. You got the Mad Monster shirt. We like scary movies. Yeah. I'm gonna. We're gonna go to the panel today. You're gonna go to the gonna screen to the panel? panel and then the photo op. Okay. I'm just gonna take this, put it over my head. <laughs> so that'll be that'll be great. That'll work. That'll work. You can go. Yes. Photo. Yes. What's your favorite <laughs> scary movie, Jay? <laughs> Do I um, like it's actually, it's actually. I'll say Showgirls. Oh, he nailed it. <laughs> he nailed it. Also, Greg's here. Greg's game room. These guys are random. Random lamp right? Yeah, I mean, got Justin, got a, Justin couldn't be here, so I Justin's guard shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Justin might be here. Really? Justin never know where he's going to yeah, be. That's true. He could pop up. Can you fix my hat? Can you do that again? Can you fix the team while you're at it? Yeah, can you fix the team? I don't know if I can do that. Let's not talk about that. That's too soon. That's a whole nother That's too soon. Baseball's over until March. That's right. Here we come, 2024. And there goes Michael Myers. Bye, Michael. Had to take a stab. Had all the scream stuff going on. Oh, look. You're wearing one too. Well, you got a stab shirt too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a stab shirt too. Is that another one? Josh and Everyone Caleb. is in, uh, dressed accordingly here. Okay, we barely made a dent. We really just got here, but we've been chatting it up with friends, uh, which is the best part of the day. We've been in this spot for about 20 minutes. In about 10 minutes, I've got to go over and cash in on the photo opportunity that I purchased. I'm doing a group photo. I'll just show you when it happens. I'll show you what happens. Oh, wow. Michael's everywhere. Some Halloween. Season of the Witch there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. It's our pal Molly. That's, it's a cloud. They are very happy. That's to, creepy. Very happy to see that. <laughs> oh, they're all going to laugh at you. Watch out. Watch out. They're all gonna laugh at you. Oh, clown. Check out vfxcreates.com if you want to know more about this fella. <laughs> laugh it up. And even though Spookala is not in Ocala, the creeper has came down to Tampa. It is so cool to see a screen used Jeeper Creepers truck right here in my hometown. That's amazing. Okay, we're running over this way. The photo ops are on the opposite side of the building. We thought they were over there at the celebrity room, so we gotta we gotta go. Okay, so we found the photo op area. I just gotta get in line. Gotta find which one I'm supposed to get in. I was uh, advised to look at the photo op menu, and then over in the right next to the photo op that I have chosen, there will appear a number, just like these that I've already opened. Mine's not open. A number will appear here, and I'll take that number and get in that line. All right, line number 61 is open. That's the line I have to get into. Looks like so many people are going already. And this is line 61. Right down there is my photo op. Might be a little while, we'll see. All right, Chris is gonna go change out of the Jason Barbie costume, so we wanna give it one more look before she does so. I'm gonna go do this photo op, and uh, I'll meet you on the other side, babe. Chris the girl coming back. All right, I'm about to take a stab at this photo opportunity. I think you know. In the booth, at all. That includes this one. No photos, no photos. All right, we're waiting. As you can see, they're very, very, very insistent about putting your phone 
and your cameras away when doing the photo op. All right, a person came through the line and scanned everyone's QR code to get the physical ticket for this photo op, and right there, I'll just spoil it right here before I get the photo. Scream Quad, Lillard, Ulrich, Kennedy, and Arquette. I'm about to get a photo with all those Scream dudes right now. Had to do this one. All right, it's 12.15. The photo op line has began moving. We're kind of staggered. My line will move next, so 45 minutes past due time. All right, it's 12.32. It's time, I'm about there. All right, I just shook hands with Jamie Kennedy, David Arquette, Matthew Lillard, and Skeet Ulrich. They said to follow the yellow line to pick up my photo. Looks like you can get a digital download for 10 bucks, also an additional print for 15. This was included. Here are all the printers. They're printing them out fast right after you take the photo. This was included. So for this, it was 275 bucks. A little bit of change online, a little bit of extra fees, 300 bucks for this experience. And here it is. Oh man, that is freaking sick. You got Ghostface in the background. Okay, that was so worth it. Such a huge fan of Scream since I was a kid. Remember it, watching it with my dad. It's just so cool to meet all these guys right there. That's a great photo. Sue Callen. I have met back up with Chris. What do you think? Amazing. Right? Holy moly. So good, they were so nice. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, we gotta frame that. We gotta frame this one. Yeah. I might get eventually get it signed yeah. by them guys. Thanks for waiting, that, that whole thing took an hour. Yeah, yeah an hour. Too bad, honestly. Once the line moved, I went right in. I thought you were dead. I get that a lot. Oh man, <laughs> Snake Plissken. This is so good. Make everybody drop their money. Yeah, I dropped, I dropped my stuff. <laughs> good cosplay, man, good cosplay. Plissken. Plissken. He just grunts a lot. It's the Toxic Avenger. You do your best, yeah, your best citizen toxic move right there. I love that. All right, we're walking into the other building. A lot of people over here. We're looking for the actual screen panel. Looks like, oh, okay. It's a giant stage over here. Wow, look at this. Good, look at all the ghost face. Look at all the ghost face in here. And they're gonna do the screen photo walk. What did I tell you about the very next time you saw me on the stage? I'm gonna pretend that was for me because that was pretty cool. So, I told you the very next time that I came on the stage, it was gonna be to get this panel started, right? We got some of the guys trickling over now, so why don't you give a big round of applause? Why don't you guys scream your freaking heads off for the guys on screen? Get all right. Billy Loomis. <laughs> Crowd's going wild. Thank you, Tampa. Thank you. First of all, uh, we always take this opportunity to, first of all, thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your lives to come here to see us, to see everybody here. We are incredibly grateful for your time and your energy and your love. So thank you to each and every one of you. And after Matt finishes his snack, <laughs> Matthew Lillard. Uh, we like to do these a little different. We like to come out and visit with you guys. So. Yeah, let's do it. I'll start that and you can chew a little bit and I'll find somebody to talk to. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to talk to me? Right here. You do? All right. Watch you out. He might have a All knife. Right. Um, what would your screen character's Starbucks orders be? Was there Starbucks back then? Uh, no. No. I think I think I would have had like tequila and. <laughs> <laughs> and a donut. <laughs> a pumpkin latte. Pumpkin latte. Is that weird? Hey, uh, hi everyone. Hi. Yeah. I'm Kennedy standing right here. 
Right there. All right, I'll let you guys go back to it. Let you guys take it away. Hey, hi. This is Joe Webb, Sheriff Burke, first movie. Oh, no, he's a sheriff. He's a sheriff. I want you to know I'm making a comeback in Scream 59. It's going to be Sheriff Burke's revenge. After the humiliation that he went through, I didn't know which girl, whatever the time. Will there be more ice cream? You went in, of course, right on your shoe. Uh, <laughs> After years of experimenting with uh, various kinds of psilocybin and uh, drugs and uh, uh, things, in the woods she comes back out after uh, all these years, kind of like uh, ramble with Boyder, and he comes in and he thinks he's Ghostface. So watch out for Scream 59. Watch out. Look it out. Right. All right. That's all I have to say. I can go back to sleep. <laughs> Hey, I want to find a question. question. Who's, Who's got, got a really good question? Yeah? All right. I'm guaranteed by her husband that this is a great question. Oh, oh my God! Bro. You're fired. All right, I have a, let, let me ask the ghost face a question. Hold on a second. Does, who has a question over here? This is great. All right, favorite kill in 96? Um, <laughs> I don't know, I guess Casey. All right, next question. I got, I got one. So we, when movies come out, we were coming out against Mars Attacks, remember that movie? And then we're coming out against George Clooney, One Fine Day. 
and it was us. And movies typically, when they come out, go down. So the first week we made six million, the second week we made seven million. And then by the fourth week we made 10 million. So then Wes said, we got a hit. Thank you. So that was it. This is good stuff, guys. JV! for birthday parties. It's incredible. Our kids <laughs> never win. It's like an awkward first date. You're all looking at us, we're looking at you. Oh, Ski got tie tie. <laughs> you know, he got tie tie. I did not get tired. But I came to talk about my golf school. <laughs> did you hear about Joseph? He's been taking mushrooms in the woods. <laughs> Matthew's over what there. Which favorite line from the movie? Oh, uh, you hit me with the bone, dick. <laughs> That's a good one. It's definitely my favorite. <laughs> I think you just stole my line. I know. It's my favorite line. Mine is my mom and dad are gonna be some out of me. Yeah. Which that whole sequence was an improv, right? So ski being a dick, <laughs> hit me with a bone, and it hurt. So I said, you fucking hit me with a bone, dick. And then I continued with the scene, and I thought it was hilarious that he was talking. And then he started crying, so it was, a, it was an improv line, so it was fun. So that's my, that's my favorite sequence. Okay, it's not my favorite line. I didn't say this line in it, but it is one of my favorite lines, and it's also on the reverse side of Wes Craven's tombstone. He has his the thing in the front and on the back it says, I'll be back. I'll be right back. You would say, isn't that your line? I'll be right back. Yeah, that's my favorite line. I'll be right back. Does anyone have a favorite line that's not Matt Lillard's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, Jamie, to Jamie, mine is yours when you go, I never thought I'd be so glad to be a virgin. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's, you were around last night? True story. <laughs> <laughs> David Arquette. Wow. Wearing a Ball State University hat. Hot seat, hot seat right there. Hot Almost seat. went to that college. What, what's your favorite movie you've been in? Indiana. Oh, man. I mean, it probably. For sure, some of the early movies, just like the excitement of your first few jobs. Yeah, yeah. John's was amazing. And Dream with the Fishes was another early one that I didn't really know. Yeah. Ravenous. Ravenous. Has anyone seen Ravenous? Yeah. That's a creepy one. That. Buffy, of course. Yeah. Getting the no Luke Perry and Paul Robinson. Ravenous. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Are you ready? Um, I'm not having a panic attack right now, I swear. Okay. I oh, swear. Yes. Hi, you look strong. You look ready. Okay, um, my question is, what got, oh my god, what got y'all into acting? Uh, that's a great question. What got you into acting? Yeah. 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 Do you want my mic? Here. Oh, there it is. Hi. So, um, Here's the other thing we like to do. I, I, I hate these Q&As that are all about sort of like how great our lives are. Our lives are amazing. We have very blessed careers, but the reality is we, were, we all have ups and downs. Nothing about who we are is represented in like a perfect way. So for me, I had a severe learning disability. Big breath, you're about to pass out. I can see it. You okay? <laughs> You're doing great. Okay, don't don't pass out. Now she's gonna pass out. Your question's an awesome question. So That's here's awesome. The deal. I sucked at everything in the world. I could barely do math. I couldn't spell to save my life. In like sophomore year in high school, I was doing speak and spell as my uh, as my homework, right? So I found one thing that I was good at. That's it. And when everyone else was off doing sports or doing math and kicking ass, I was doing one thing. I was in the theater 
hanging out with the people I loved, doing the shit I loved. And I never thought I'd be a professional actor. I just kept doing the shit I loved. And eventually, it all worked out. So, That's in awesome. your life, Watch your head. just do the things you care about, and you will find a way to feed yourself as an adult. I promise you. Okay? So follow passion, don't follow money, and you will find joy. That's my answer. Thank you. Chris, the girl's gonna be a part of the photo. She brought her mask. Right there, I'll get you in there, babe. I was gonna bring mine and I forgot it. So I guess I'll just record the outcome. Yeah. Good luck up there. If you guys don't know, this is Deej right here. This is the guy show on. Yeah. Without Deej, this show doesn't happen. Alright? Yeah. So, we're gonna start following some of the people up here on the stage. Some are gonna go down in the front. Other than Lee, Oh, other than Lee, you face. guys can position yourselves wherever the heck you want in the picture. If you want to be sitting down, it's up, it's up to you guys. Alright. This is exciting okay. stuff, Jim. So, in the walkway, unfortunately, we're going to have to clear the way. There's uh, that many people up there. Make sure you move back and we're going to make sure everyone else is going to get into the front. That would be kind of easy. If Let's start trying to file some people yeah, in the front as well. If the whole stage is yeah. left. You guys go ahead and head back to the front. The rest of you guys are going to towards the middle. We're going to start walking towards the front. Two, three. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah, awesome. Cheese. Keep going. Which one's Chris the girl? Cheese. with this idea. Can you raise your hands? You guys, let's give a shout out to these guys. Yeah. They have a fan page for that's dedicated to Ghostface. No children should probably follow them or meet them in any way, shape, or form. They're obviously weird. But, um, it's to their credit that they put this whole thing together. The second thing we're gonna do is that after this photo, or whatever the hell we're doing, everyone, you see that big area over there? We're gonna go over there and we're gonna systematically, in a methodical way, count everyone who goes. I know you've been to a lot of conventions. I've been to a lot of conventions. Have you ever seen that amount of one cosplay in one spot? A one specific cosplay? Yeah. Not a ghost face or horror. Maybe Star Wars. Maybe right? Star Wars, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say, that's a lot. That's a lot. I thought the stage was gonna collapse. Yeah, I was, I was worried about that. Worried. I could see uh, Matthew Lillard was getting a little stressed out of that. I think he was. He was a little stressed. He's also gotta make a flight, too, that's so true. maybe that was it. I think he was concerned about them getting the count right. All right, I was trying so hard to find you. My eyesight's not the best, so where were you up in there? I was on the stage on the left-hand side in the back. I don't think you can see me too well from certain angles. Okay, so I'll have to rewind the footage. I was up there. I was there with uh, Mel and Johnny. Oh, Boston. they were up there? Oh, we were awesome. There. We were hanging out, and uh, Matthew Lillard took our photo. <laughs> oh, cool. He's so he's so nice, isn't he? I've met him once before. Yeah. So good job, cool. babe. There's the mask right there. And our good and loving friends, Brad and Amanda, are here. They were also up on stage. You had a little pink on your mask. Oh yeah, like a little psychedelic. I created a little side story, like my character when the, um, the all the the curfews were happening. Their art show was canceled, and that was their ticket out of town. Oh, Canada. nice. So I hate Sydney too. <laughs> Brad, I like the little. Oh, I, you got the little ghost face. I got the little witch. Maybe they can be friends. When did Leonardo DiCaprio get here? What? <laughs> oh, you're the king of the dolly, right? Oh, wow, Jack. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Don't let go, Jack. Never let go. There, there was room for you on the door. 
There was room for you on the door. We are puzzled on what's going on right now. Do you know what's going on? It's, it, he's promoting Titanic 2 Electric Boogaloo. Oh, it's a promotion. All right. Did anyone get the count? I didn't get the count. 230. 230? 200. And 30 ghost face. One was my fiance. She was up on stage. I, I am getting like really creeped out right now. Oh, there's a lot of ghost face. A lot of ghost face. What's up? I almost wore that mask too. There we go. That's so good. Hey, is Gail Weathers back there? Oh, and Sydney. Gail Weathers and Sydney right here. Right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Slapper. Yes! Bam! The went down. Hey, fellas, check this out. Look at this. Look. Look at the picture. You like it? I'm trying to get it all in the front. What do you think? What do you think? You see it? Yeah, look at that. I got the whole cat. All right, which one's gonna take a stab at it? All right! They got Jay! They got him! What was your mistake? You got me like a fish! Oh man, thanks guys. Thank you. Nice photo opportunity right here. Oh my god. That is so good. Thank you. I want to point something out. So these sets right here are the exact same sets I saw in Pasadena, California a week ago at H45. So they were brought all the way across America. It's the Nightmare House. Holy cow. I didn't see this one out there though. I did see the real Nightmare House went by there on Genesee in Hollywood. Okay, so we've been so busy standing in line for photo ops, panels, uh, giant photos, meeting friends. We haven't really been to the vendor room and it's it's after two o'clock, so we're finally here. Hello, pumpkin head. A little saw one there. Ooh, pumpkin king, you're the pumpkin king. That's right. Zombie. Whoa, that's so cool. You look awesome too. Oh, cool. Wow. All right. Gonna get a really good still shot of this one. That is super cool. Good cosplay, my friend. Good cosplay. Chris and I both looked up and we saw this blow mold with the cat and the trick or treat and the cauldron. What do you think, babe? I got this blow mold. I think it's a uh, hundred. $125. 125 bucks. Oh, missed opportunity. I should have came to the vendor room first. I could have just bought a mask and a voice box and a knife. The Slay Kit here. Slayer Kit. There's a lot of vendors here. A lot of vendors. Several aisles full. Oh, it's Frankenstein's monster there. He's coming straight for you, Chris. Watch out, Chris. Oh, friend. It's green. Hey, you guys are. You guys match. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Biggest green shot. All right, I missed you at age 45. You were you a busy me. man. Yeah. Well, actually, I got you in the background. I don't know if you saw the video. I was a blur. I was it a blur. It was your birthday. It was. And it was I said, not the, how you want to spend your birthday working. Yeah. No. Well, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Besides yeah. the. Now that it's over, yes. Okay. It was very successful. Uh, everybody seemed very happy. The reviews have been extremely positive. So I can't, I can't really complain. It was just a very tiring weekend. Well, good for you, man. I'm, uh, I was really excited to come out there and see you have such a good time. You had fun? I had a great time. I wish I could have stayed longer and met with uh, John Carpenter the next day, but I had to catch a flight. Yeah, well. So I'll be at the 50 though, definitely. Hopefully I won't. No, but I probably will. <laughs> I will. All right, Sean Clark. And then I'm tapping it. out. That's it. 50 and done. 50 and done? Yeah. Okay, ho hopefully Jamie Lee Curtis shows up for 50. We'll see. Yeah, hey, yeah, I mean, we'll see. you know, pressure's on, JLC. Okay, we'll see. Watch ahead. Jamie Lee Curtis <laughs> will be there. No. <laughs> Michael Rooker. Michael Congrats Rooker in the house. We're coming in the south, that way. How are y'all doing? We got any Hoosiers here? Anybody from Indiana? Right here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. 
I live here now, though. Hello. Okay, now ask me your question with your pig hat. Okay, cool. Um, did they actually paint you blue to play Yondu for Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh huh. Yeah, and how was that? Did it leave stains? Uh huh. No way. Nice. Glad to hear it. Sounds like a good makeup department. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, my dad really loves you, by the way. We love you in Guardians of the Galaxy. You're awesome. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Oi, oi. <laughs> what, what's your name, Mandy? My name's Nicolette. Then did you make this yourself? No, I bought it this year at Halloween. You bought this? Yes, I so it really looks this looks this looks cool. Let me I, I wanna can I try it on? Yeah! You can use my Oh that's great. Your pig head. Wait, you know, oh no, your glasses. Oh, this is great. This is why I love Michael Rooker. Yeah. yeah. This is good. Hello. Hello. Oh, boy. That's hot. I mean, not like hot, good. That would be like... Uh, a little bit much to wear, like okay. real melting Dude, check skin. this out. No way. Because I, 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 my eyes were closed no. when all this was happening. All Freaking I heard was... Way. And then the door would open and slam. Dave and she'd Batista. come back in okay. It's she'd freaking go Dave out. Batista. Yeah, I don't blame her. I, uh, uh, Michael, Michael, we have a Michael. Uh, I think we need to come up here on the stage, so... We have a special guest for you on the stage. There's a special guest for you on the stage, Mr. Rooker. It's Michael Rooker. Oh, I can cut through right here. And Dave Batista. Oh, look at this old boy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, handsome. <laughs> yeah. For those who don't know, Michael Rooker had no idea this was happening. In no way. This is a surprise to him as well. Dave Batista. Man, I had a bad dream last night. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is uh, Dave. And, and, uh, hey! and you know what? I'm gonna get the heck out back out of here. Let's let the cool friends you have to make Dave, Dave, uh, Dave lives here in in Tampa. Here, Dave, take this off. Let's Go both. Here, you, uh, Dude, Dave. There is a story done. behind this. Go. Yes. Passion story. Oh, what? Panel crashing story. Oh, the panel crashing story. Yes. There's a history to this. There's a history. This is payback. Well, cut, cut, yes and no. <laughs> so my first, I think my first solo panel ever. I don't know if you guys know anything about me. You know my social anxiety is horrible. Like even now I'm sitting here shaking because being in front of you. No, seriously. I thought I I, you are shaking. I thought yeah. maybe you thought I was kind of sexy. Well, that, well, there's that too, but you know, that's right. so you can do that between us. <laughs> but it's like it's horrible. So I my, can I can read it in your eyes. My first <laughs> the, the social anxiety or the yeah the the yearning. Yeah, the the, the what? The urinating? Urinating? urinating. 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 Oh, see, so, death. I you're hear you urinating. You said urinating. Okay, go ahead. So, so my first, but, I think it was my first solo panel ever. I was shitting myself. Like I was so, I was terrified. It was. I was like, I don't know. It was like 45 minutes. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna say? Am I gonna pass out? I like, I get serious social anxiety. And he said, Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just go, go. I got you. I got you. So about two minutes into my panel, here he comes. <laughs> But I think yeah. I came out and I did the baby group dance, right? You did, that you one did. time. You did. Oh yeah, you did that and then some. And then yeah. And then he spoke for like the like forty three minutes or the forty five minutes. Yeah, and they, so they just sat there. And so he's he, better now. He talks. Well, I became a little better, and more comfortable with it, but he just kept crashing my panels. I know. <laughs> well, it's because I, I, it was sad. Because he crashes everybody's. It was a little panels. bit sad to watch. Um, uh, D D Dave is such a lovely man, and he, he is very honest. So if you ask him a question, he will try his damnedest to answer it, <laughs> even if he's not supposed to. Remember? <laughs> you had done that 007 thing, I know, and they were asking questions about it, and he was telling them the answers. <laughs> 
weren't supposed to. I was just in it like Hollywood for like two years. Yeah. Like I didn't know the whole NDA thing and the spoiler thing. It wasn't. All right, so, right. Yeah. First of all, I love that you asked the question outside of his John Doe career because he's amazing. Oh, yeah, I yeah. love John no, Doe, but he's amazing. Yeah. Well, Tombstone is a nice movie. Yeah. yeah. That's the first a great time movie. I met him, we started talking about his other work, and it wasn't. Uh, Marvel related at all, because she's been in a few of my favorite films. Tim's one of them. Yeah, but also the Music Box. So it's kind the of Music Box. Yeah, yeah the Music Box. Jessica Lange just got a big, um, uh, 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 I think it's a three or six box set of of all of her all of her films. Not all of them, of course. And uh, the Music Box is in there. It's in there. We did a we did, I did a little interview for that for that piece. Yeah, that's awesome. Jessica Lane, beautiful, awesome actor, awesome, awesome actor. Hannibal Lecter. Okay, we're over here at Fatal Images Props. All kinds of cool props made by our friends over here. This is Tammy. How long did it take you to make Hannibal there? Uh, actually, the sculpt was a couple of months off and on. Off and so on a couple of months? In between times, yeah. Okay. But then he's only like about a week or two weeks afterwards that it takes to make the rest of him. Wow, he looks great. Oh my gosh. This, What's he do? Oh, okay, that comes, comes off. The hair's punched in one hair at a time you punch with a needle. One hair at a time with a needle. That's a lot of he's time. He's got eyebrows, and he's even got razor stubble. Oh, yeah, it looks just like him. Wow. That's so cool. La Orona. That's a Spanish flavor. Yeah, he that definitely from the uh, Conjuring yes. universe. Ooh, that's creepy. That's so good. And we got Sam here, of course. We got Sam, and then over there, there's Gage from Pet Cemetery. And Sam's got his head. Whoa, that's so good. I've never seen a Gage before. Yeah, check him out. Fatal Images Props on Facebook and Instagram. Oh yes, I was just at the Poltergeist house. I was just there a week ago. I was at the Poltergeist house in California, and I was thinking about you. This is crazy. Yeah, so you can Facebook. Yeah, that's so cool. Make it to the Commons this weekend. Cool. And then we have Megan. I haven't seen Megan yet. I've heard good things though. I heard great things. This looks so real. And then, Annabelle, whoa, all made by hand, crafted by hand by Fatal Images right here. Okay, Erie, Florida time. May I film you, Mark? Uh, well, you can film me, but you better ask this guy. Oh, Robert, can I film you? Robert, I think it's okay. We love you, I Robert. I think it's okay. We yeah. love you. I didn't, I forgot to ask him. When oh, I you better ask him. earlier. Oh, no. Well, I asked afterwards. Yeah, so I think you're okay. If Things I'm, are fine. If I'm so. in trouble, then we Hi, fine. gang. How are you all? You should be here live. It's much more fun. That's Come right, Spookala. So, but uh, man, it's fun, and we love you guys. It's good to see we you. We love all. you, Mark Monsi so, and Carrie Schultz over yeah, there. Carrie hiding over there. So uh, she's making more. She's I, having to make more crochet. Yeah. She's selling. Oh yeah. Out, so. Oh, she's making these over here. Yeah, that's her okay. new thing. That's awesome. And then, um, she just did the art for Erie Unnatural Ohio. So these Ooh, are some new that. monsters. That's the Dog Man of Car Defiance. Scary drew this. Uh, he's got a big stick, you know, which is, if the Dog Man's not scary enough, he's also got a stick. Speak softly. Black Bay Bessie, or South Bay Bessie from Lake Erie. Uh, the Black Dog of Lake Erie. I no, want to know more about the Black Dog. That's he's, cool. He, if you see him on your boat, get off. He's, that's a bad sink. sign. Yeah. He was supposedly seen on the Edmund Fitzgerald and a few other boats. So you might know those names. Yes, the uh, and then uh, the local Bigfoot up in Ohio, uh, and then of course the Loveland Frogman. The Loveland Frogman. Yeah, I don't think with, I don't think Chris the girl pulled, could ever go to Loveland. Pulled out a magic wand to scare away people. So that's <laughs> you know Frog's bad when he pulls out a wand on you. So but hey, uh, I've been hearing all kinds of things about Erie Travels. Erie Travels is crazy we're doing two days a week now it's uh we're on all the podcast platforms but spotify has asked us to do two days a week cool which is insanity which is why my voice is a little strange because i just did mothman festival we did that we're going to be uh doing a live podcast at Scarefest in two weeks in in lexington uh i'll be at BartoCon this coming saturday oh good good uh and then uh i'm at the tampa theater this coming sunday telling ghost stories and so, and also at the saint pete museum the saint pete history museum on thursday 
Thursday, yes. You're a busy uh, man. It's a busy week. It's like a spooky season. Yeah, so, uh, we know, man. And, then, uh, and we're still doing our Night in the Lonesome October. We're reading every night on uh, on our on our uh, social media channels. Such so, a good book that you gave us. We hope you enjoy yeah. it. We, we love that it's from the familiar's perspective, so it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, but they, you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg. We are more ahead, and we love you guys. Much and, ahead. Uh, we've got some spooky places lined up for y'all. So. Yeah, we're going to be going out with Mark hopefully sometime after spooky season. We're going to go on yeah, some more We'll go on some ghostly adventures. things. Uh, uh, ghosts ahead. Ghosts ahead. Ghosts ahead. So see you on the other side. On the other <laughs> side. Go to the local art school. They had all the local artists make witch hats. Oh, and that's so awesome. This is for the lovely Chris the Girl. So. Isn't that amazing? That is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Wow, that, that is, is so you, babe. Yep. Those, that is beautiful. Pumpkin tinsel. How gracious and whimsical. and Yeah, yeah. and that's for the Coey School of Arts in Franklin, uh, North Carolina, for the Witch Walk. And you can buy, they have other hats available that the local artists have made, and it supports the school. So it's a win-win, yep. and you get something awesome. It's beautiful. beautiful. And also here on this table, several other books done by the Fort Horseman. Is yeah. that how they say it? Four Horsemen Publications. Yeah. Four Horsemen Publications. They, get, they do a different theme every year, and they have all their authors contribute. And so, like, they have a demonic offices and uh, the different takes on the classics. Uh, they have one that's all hospitals. And, of course, Ooh. carnivals. Ooh, demonic then, carnival. Yeah, my wonderful co-host of Eerie, Tra uh, Eerie Travels. Yeah, Erica. Erica, that's her book. Uh, all a bunch of short stories that don't have happy endings. Uh, and then... We have uh, around over here, Amanda Fasciano. Oh, she we got Waking Up Dead. So Amanda, tell them a little bit about Waking Up Dead. Hi, Amanda. Hi. <laughs> it is kind of an X-Files meets Ghost Adventures, but from the ghost perspective. You have a cop killed in the line of duty, and she decides to what? keep helping on the other side because there are rules on the other side. And then something goes sideways, and she has to weigh how important it is to keep Rules oh, I see. The rules and saving lives. Then that's right here. Very cool it's series. Right there. It's a series. Three books already and a yep. fourth one on the way. So yeah. Yeah, waking I am, up. I am addicted. I'm so. fascinated. And then we had our uh, Paige Lavoie's I'm in Love with Mothman, which we sold out at Mothman Festival. This is all that's left in the wild right that's now. That's it. There's that stack. That right stack, there. and it'll be gone by Sunday. Oh, boy. And then we have, uh, we have J.M. Paquette here who writes. Uh, hey, J.M. Hello. How you doing? Good. I write cheesy vampire love triangles and happy endings. I like it. I'll sign me up. <laughs> and then, of course, the great Valerie Willis. Valerie Willis. I write broody, angsty boys. Ah. So. Huh? So. That's you, all right. That's you. <laughs> okay, where can we find all these books? Oh, Four Horsemen Four Publications. Horsemen right there. Right okay, there, there, and wherever go. fine books are sold. So Four Horsemen Publications. Ooh. And right here is a model of the May Stringer House, one of the most haunted houses, real life haunted houses in all of America, maybe the most haunted house in Florida. We were inside that thing last year with Mark Muncy for a preview of their Ghost Fest happening again this October, the 20th, 21st, 27th, and 28th. Chris and I had a very unique paranormal experience inside the attic actually like right up here it was it was crazy I'm, it's good to see you all up here cool to see you at spookala they've got all kinds of stuff here for you they've got uh books they've got coasters they've got keychains they've got creepy dolls as seen on kindred spirits as well i didn't realize that so this doll is from the May Stringer house and it says Victorian haunted doll from the May Stringer, 100 bucks. Okay, so we've been going all day. I haven't even looked at my phone to see what time it is. It's probably like three or four. Yeah. We made a little bit of dent in the vendor room, but we didn't really come to look at all the stuff today because we have so many friends involved with Spookala. Uh, just people coming in general, our YouTube friends, uh, our vendor friends. Yep. the celebrities all that so we've been talking a lot and that's one of the biggest and most exciting things about uh conventions like that is getting to I see people it. it's getting to see people oh, like greg, greg. <laughs> hi hey greg back greg from greg's blogosphere and greg's game room blogosphere the and the same. game room yes 
But yeah, we've been hanging out with Greg all day behind the scenes. Where, where have you been? Where have you been? Um, I just ran by. Oh yeah, that's right. Winded. Just a second. Oh, I had to, I had to take a break. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Have you seen the guy that sells the masks? Yes, Rick. Have you not seen him today? No, is he here? He's here. He's oh here? my gosh. Yeah, let's go find him. He's like okay. right over in here somewhere. Okay, we'll go find him. So you guys got, got the meat on. What's up? You got security? What's up? Is it Ghostface? No one's even They're not, even look, they're not, not doing their job. They're looking no, at your mask. They don't care. They don't think I can take care. care of himself. There we go. There, we there go. they are right there. What's up? There you yeah. go, selfie guy, and they've got all the security there. Yeah, yeah, they don't care. Very about secure. Yeah, right. It's all that Terrifier 2 money, yeah? yeah. It's all that Terrifier yeah. 2 money. Yeah. I get it. I yeah. see. Terrifier 3. And they just said in their mind, they're like, who yeah. the hell is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Chilling? Killing? Yeah. Okay, these are new at 13X Studios. So, uh, the Candyman mask. Great. It's only going to be from Thursday. Got the hook and the bees. So, maybe. Yeah, I like that. 13xstudios.com. Also, you got some jaws. So this is where I get all my 13x studio. This is where I get all my Jason masks for my videos. I was asked to film a bit for Selfie Guy, Selfie King Part Two. So I'm just I'm just getting some footage right here, some B-roll. Might want to get that right there. What was the Selfie guy. <laughs> All right, guys. Look. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Look at this. So Look at this. Yeah, I feel like Chipsy. So Paparazzi. I had this idea um, being that, you know, a holiday of Halloween coming up. Me and Jay are in this new Halloween movie coming out. Death Walks Among Us. And I decided. Um, that I made a special mask. It's um, it's one of a kind. It's weathered in Jason Part Six dirt Jason from lives. the camp. And Daniel Morgan. Um, Chris, Jay, Adam, and me are all going to sign it. And this Thursday, right before Friday Thirteenth, I'm going to put it on my uh, Facebook page, and I'll tag my name. And it's just going to be a uh, an, um, a live auction, pretty much. I'm going to start at fifty dollars, and all the money is going to go for ki Give Kids the World. Oh. So, um, and I'll send you some selfie guy stuff too, Terrifier. I'll sign some stuff for you. So okay. I appreciate it. What I is love your Facebook? Guys. Yeah, what's um, your Facebook? So it's it's just go to Instagram 13x Studios and then my name's there because my last name is very long to spell, or hard to spell. Okay. So it's Dzinski. So just um, go with 13x Studios on yes. Instagram and, and you'll you see have my a name. Link. Yep. And I'm gonna start it Thursday at 5 p.m. Thursday and it ends five. Friday on Facebook. the 13th at 11:59, and that'll be it. Okay. So at midnight on the Saturday, I'll have a winner. And I'll ship it out to you Saturday morning. And I appreciate all the money. Oh. It's going to a great cause. That's beautiful. I love beautiful. these guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you for doing this. And we need to do more stuff like this. To make the world better. So We're all about this. Thanks, man. Doubt, this is an honor. Thank you for being part of this. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Go bid on the mask. All right. We're gonna sign and it I'll first. Video right. so Chris is gonna be the first one to sign okay, the first mask. First signature on our. Limited one of one mask. No Chris pressure. the girl. Oh, there's a lot of pressure right now. There is so much pressure. The first one. That's a good signature. That is a beautiful white Look signature. At that. Thank oh. you very much. <laughs> next next signature. Right here. Adam Adam's, the Woo. Adam signing it. He has 75 million followers on YouTube. Look at that sexy yeah. signature. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. And then we did it. There's me. It there's again. Rick. Hey, there's doing? Adam. And there's Hell Chris yeah. the girl right on top there. So you can go bid on this mask. If you want it yourself, go to Rick's Facebook. Yes. 13X Studios. Check go it out. My, actually, it's going to my Instagram. Your on Instagram. Studios. Go to and your Instagram. Look at my name. It's on the front page. Okay. And then go to Facebook. So do that. Yes. And then you can bid on this on Thursday. The 12th. Thursday, yes. At, at 5, 5 p.m. I'm going to start the bidding, ending on Friday the 13th oh. at 11.59. All proceeds go. Give kids the world. Best charity ever. I love it. Let's yes. do this again. Yeah. And we turned a corner and we came face to face with some awesome, amazing people. We just met Ronnie and, and Jerry. Jerry. And they gave us this. It's a big foot. It's a big foot on a big foot and it's absolutely beautiful it sure is they said they found it at a flea market over on uh u.s highway 19. someone had painted this and they saw it and they thought of both of us because we do all the bigfoot stuff and it's a uh, it's a token of their appreciation and um for us becoming engaged i think yeah yeah, yeah. Engaged. yeah. so thank you so much to them and i am thank just you so much yeah. to all the people that we've that we've met today and ran into uh, i got a couple other things to show as well personally but 
Yeah, like this is awesome. It's amazing. Thank you, Ronnie and Jerry. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. I can't wait to hang that up at home. Yeah, me too. Getting my close-up shot? Yes, I am. How are we doing? Did you enjoy the event? I know I saw you come through. I enjoyed Hallow Scream tremendously this uh -huh. year, and I told I told everyone to come. I knew I could count on you. What was your guys' favorite houses? Well, oh well, if you ask D.H. Baggums, mm. he'll be able to tell you. True. Yeah, that was a good one. I've heard some good stuff about that one. I haven't had the time to go through, but um, you know, I you know, the uh, vampire hunters, I think they're pretty. Good. They're pretty good that was too. Awesome. I love that. One. I like the I like the new rendition. I, I love the Vampire Hunters. Yeah, shake shake really things cool. up a little bit, right? Yeah. Also, I, celebrating Christmas early is always good. Yeah, yeah. I do yeah. love that one. Yep. Yeah, I, it's a very unique idea. I've been thinking about doing like a Nightmare Before Christmas thing for a while. Yeah. All right. But hey, I hope early. you guys have a great rest. You of your too. Time. Are we gonna so see much. you again? We, you may, you may. Hundred percent. Yep. Fair enough, fair you enough. may. Well, have a good night, my friends. Thank you so much. All right. And we're here at our friend's booth, DOA Company. This is the brand new shirt they're selling over here. Very vintage Halloween spook shop, Halloween headquarters. That's what I would call this place over there. Yeah. Yeah, check them out, DOA Company. You can find them. You can find them on Instagram, Facebook, and all that. You guys have a website, too, as well. Right there on the do, back do, do, of the do, do, do. card and a QR code. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. Did you get it? Oh, look at this little coffin with the finger in it. I know. It's so cute. That's pretty. Look at that sick Rocketeer shirt over there. Yeah, check them out. DOA. All right. I just saw you a week ago at H45. No, that was a different Michael? They looked a lot like you. This is a really good one, by the way. I like the gray jumpsuit. So good. All right, I was passing these. These are these are little ghosties house slippers. Pre-order, 28 bucks. Okay, free shipping. Whoa, these are cool. Go, Kelly Parker Craft Company. Oh, there's a QR code there. Oh, there you go. That's uh, who made the slippers. All kinds of good stuff over here. Even, even soap. We've got mugs. Oh, I like that Halloween Michael Myers mug right there. Yeah, check it out. These are cool though. This is a uh, Magic Merch Designs. Looks like, ooh, 20 bucks for the Tower of Terror shirt. 30 bucks for the Tower of Terror. Oh, she's actually buying the Tower of Terror shirt because it's on a tarot card. All right, this was made for me. Look at this. Welcome if it's your first time. That's perfect. You made this for me, sir. I did make that for you, Well, sir. thank you so much. You're very welcome, sir. You want to shout out your YouTube channel? You said you've been vlogging it up over I there. I have on this Custom Creations by Peanut with the K. K-U-S-T-U-M-K-E-R-A-T-I-O-N-S by Peanut. By Peanut. That's awesome. How'd uh, you stand out? Dude, yeah. Oh, this is, so I'm like, cool. I'm like, I'm gonna cry. This is awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. we have to put that somewhere really, really uh, special. Really special. Really I think special. it's gonna go in the living room for sure. It's got, yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and it had to be the scaly. It had to be the scaly. Yes. You know I mean? Yeah, the scaly. Thank you, Peanuts. Spider. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, check them out. Custom Creations. Yeah. Oh, I love how that you have all your information right cut right out here. as well. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. YouTube, right there to the left. Take a screenshot. If you take <laughs> yeah. a screenshot, It'll last long. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, it's almost six o'clock. I finally made it to the celebrity room, but it looks like most of them have gone. I would have liked to see Bam. And oh, there still are some celebrities hanging around. It looks like uh, Skeets over there. I just said hello to Tom Arnold. Jamie, I don't see Jamie anymore. David's over there. David Arquette's still over there. Michael, we came too late. Devin Saw was gone. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Sandman, give me a dream. And I didn't make it in here in time. I was planning on getting a photo with Devin Sawa. This would have been the first opportunity I would have had to do so. Big fan of this guy, especially Casper, Final Destination, SLC Punk, Wild America, Little Giants. Yep, I'm a kid of the 90s, so Devin was in a lot of stuff. 
But things happen. We got a little busy today doing other stuff at the con. This was the first opportunity I had to come to the celebrity room. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll catch him next time. We'll see you, Devin. We'll see you next time. Oh, gosh. All right, just make it quick. Okay, I'm back to the Jeepers Creepers truck. Yeah, it's almost six o'clock. The vendors are open till about seven. As you can see, it's really cleaned out. I wanna say I love this venue. Of course, I'm a little biased. It's in Tampa, but it's right off of I-4 and 75. And I heard today that they will be having the next several Spookalas right here in this same venue. So come check them out next time. Spookala is going on here in Tampa. Just saw all these people a week ago at H45, PJ Souls, Will Sandin, Sandy Johnson, original Halloween cast. Also, I was hoping to see uh, Joey Lauren Adams today. You never see her anywhere. Well, I haven't seen, I've never seen her anywhere. She was in Days to Confuse, Chasing Amy, Mall Rats, Big Daddy, and um, Biodome. And last stop of the con back at 13X Studios. Look at this. In the original home of the Tampa Bay Lightning, go Bolts. I'm getting a 13X studio. Yeah, it's uh, 100 bucks for you. 100 bucks. I paid 100 bucks for I that. I paid 20 for mine. I know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 20? <laughs> okay, it is 7 o'clock. We've done a full day here at Spookala. Wow. I think we've been here, yeah, nine hours. And we got a lot of goods with this too. Look at this, all kinds of goods. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. And we didn't buy most of it. Yeah. By the good gracious of just beautiful, wonderful people giving us stuff. Amazing. So shout out to all those people. We shouted them out as they gave it to us on both channels. Thank you. Thank you all. Like, yeah, I, I, was, I was literally in tears several times. Thank you, like, that means the most to us. We just love that you guys watch. What means the most to us is that will watch and you appreciate what we do and you take the time to talk to us and you know tell us your favorite moments and whatnot the gifts are never necessary never necessary never necessary but, but thank you appreciated. much appreciated of course so yep. yeah we're very lucky very we lucky. have awesome viewers we do and i have an awesome fiance and i love her and go check out her channel if you haven't done so already that's this girl right here she had her camera chris the girl thank you. on youtube i'll put a link in the Description below. Also, shout out to David S. Pumpkins. Any questions? No, that's it. It's over. All right. All right. Have Happy fun. Halloween. Have fun. Happy Halloween. The last car in the parking lot. Watch out for the vampires. Lost Boys. Spookala Tampa, the very first one. Not the very first Spookala, the first Spookala Tampa. And it will be coming back. So. Guess what? I think we'll come back too. We sure will. We, we both look exhausted. Oh yeah, it's been a long day. We look so we had We had a blast though, and so grateful, as we said, for everyone coming up and um, you know seeing all our friends. That's what means the most to us at these conventions. It's it's cool to it's cool to see people, make connections. Uh, of course, see the celebrities, get photos, check out the vendors, buy some stuff. It's all horror conventions. I said this last week uh, as I ended my H45 video. The horror community in general is the most loving and genuine community I have ever been a part of. Such a sweet, sweet, sweet crew. And uh, it proved it again today, as you saw. So, all right, if you enjoyed Spookala, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you did. Please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe below if it was your first time. Also check out Chris the Girl's video. She was making one as well. Check out her channel. And uh, yeah, love you guys. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved. And no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know there's much ahead for you. Yes, I'm talking to you. You. All right, that's it. Happy Halloween. We still got more vlogs coming. See you tomorrow. There's much ahead. Bye-bye. Little witch, what'd you think of Spookala? Okay, I guess she didn't. Uh, you, you She's know. a little quiet in the pocket. Oh, there she goes. She was on the whole time. Oh, okay. I guess she did like. <laughs> She's back. Did her laugh change?
little bit. A little bit. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye-bye.